Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radicad. In this video, I want to talk about the new visual added in Power BI, which you can use it in Power BI Desktop even today, uh, which is a really great way to filter uh, based on a text value search. In previous uh, slicer visual, we could have added a search button, but this is uh, taking that to the next level. It's a much better approach. Uh, when you have a text field and you want to search based on it, uh, which is the text the slicer. So let's go and check it out what it is. Uh, so to use this new visual, first you have to uh, enable the text the slicer. I'll switch to my screen so that we can have a look. So here you can see this is my Power BI desktop. First you need to make sure that you have the latest version. Uh, this is the text slicer, um, sorry, this one is the text slicer we are talking about, uh, this visual. Uh, now, in order to have it, first you have to go and enable it because it is a still a preview feature, so you have to go to files, options and settings, options, uh, and there are plenty of preview features available usually in here where you can go and select them and enable them to be used uh, <coughs> inside Power BI Desktop. Um, and one of them is this uh, new uh, text slicer visual, which is this one. So make sure that you have selected that. Once you select it, when you click OK, it will ask you to restart your Power BI desktop, not restart your machine, which means close Power BI desktop, open it again. So I'll show you what this looks like. Uh, and I'll first show you what the older slicer behavior look like when we have a text value. Uh, so, for example, if I'm going to search based on a text value in the full name, the older slicer, the mm, default one, uh, was like this. I could have added a slicer, and I'll just make it a bit smaller. Uh, and in this slicer, I can add something like full name, which is that full name we have over there. And uh, the slicer by default doesn't come with the search button, but you can just click here on this three dots, and then enable the search. This is not the new text slicer. This is like the existing old available slicer. Um, when you enable that search, you just enable it once and it will, it will be available there all the time. You can even publish it, publish the report with this on. This means that it will be there. So for example, if I want to search for David, I would search for David, then I go and select that option and everything would be filtered, right? That is the behavior of the existing slicer. But just by typing it in, it would not filter the data. Uh, I still have to go and select it. Now let me clear that and I'll bring the new slicer so that you can see what this looks like. The new slicer taking that definitely to a next level. So uh, this is the new slicer. It is called text slicer. I'll just make it uh, about this size. Here it is. Um, and I'm going to add the same thing, the full name added into this text slicer. So you don't see anything here. The idea is that you have to go and search. So for example, if I'm going to search for David, I just type David, press enter, and this automatically filters everything, not only, um, not only gives me the list of Davids, but all my visuals get filtered for that, which is a really cool thing. The previous visual didn't have that. Uh, and if I want to see what are the list of Davids, I have it in a visual. So you can have like a card visual, a multi-row card visual, or a table visual that shows all of that. Mm. And this is even more helpful if you have a text that is a much longer text, like for example, a free text field that you have. So if I remove this full name, for example, and instead of that, I bring something like description. I think I have a description field inside the product table. Yep, here it is. Now I would also add that description in my table visual because then I want to show you what this looks like. So I'll remove the full name from the, my table visual. I'll bring the description and make this a little bit smaller so we have a little bit more space. So uh, the description field can be quite a big uh, text as you can see in here. I'll just bring it as the first uh, value in the table visual. That is how you arrange it. And you see this, this is a pretty big field and it has quite a lot of description in it. Now, um, let's say I'm interested in anything that has something to do with water, like water bottle or anything like that. I can just search for water 
and everything in this would be filtered for anything that has something to do with water or if I can for example search based on fit anything that has this word in it would be filtered across all of my visual which is really cool thing and obviously this visual like any other visuals in Power BI and um, this slicer like any other slicer in Power BI you have the ability to use the sync slicer feature meaning that let me bring that so that uh, we can see this a little bit better meaning that I can sync this visual with this slicer with other pages and uh, when I do that this um, like I can search it in here and other pages also get filtered sliced and diced um, and uh, other things about this visual is that you can do the formatting um, like any other visuals in Power BI like I can do the formatting things such as title borders things like that but in addition to that, you have the control on like what the input text configurations is, the formatting, things like that, the applied button or uh, like all of those things that would uh, change the look and feel of this around it. But definitely a really uh, amazing visual to use. Uh, it doesn't have much of a hard complication to set up. You just set the text field in it and um, the user just input that text value and everything gets filtered, sliced and diced. It is a preview visual at the moment, so you might expect something, um, you might see something that you are not expecting. Uh, let me know in, down in the comments below and I will pass that feedback to the Microsoft team, but uh, it is a great initiative compared to what we had in the old slicer with that like search uh, field in it. This is an amazing uh, advancement in the visualization in Power BI. Uh, so go and use it. Let me know about your scenario that you have used it. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Microsoft Power BI and Fabric. Until the next video, bye.